second part of our Mojave Desert adventure, we check out some old mining camps dating back to the late 1800s. We were able to rescue a side-by-side -side out of a ditch and a whole bunch of other cool sites. So make sure you watch to the end and please let me know what you think in the comments. Well, we had a great first night out uh, out of state line here. Going to go explore a few more mines up in the looks like the state line wilderness is where we're at. So we'll see if we can find anything worthwhile. Some remnants of old rock cabins there. Rock foundation, clearly a very large mining operation up here. Of course, it never really translates on video, but this road was steep and very, very rutted. And in fact, on the way down, we'd come across a side-by-side -side stuck in the ditch. Well, so far, so good. Are you occupied again? Well, you might wait till I get to the top just to be sure. You get to the top, you're going to be fine. It's getting a lot worse. I really wanted you to go first. Well, after yesterday, that did pretty much. I centered. That's exciting. I'm coming up right now. After getting a spotter, I was able to make it past this obstacle. But 50 yards up the road, the trail was completely washed out. Not sure we're going to make it up that. We were forced to have to park the rigs and do the rest of it on foot. Weston says it looks like there's a shaft over here. Or maybe they're keeping the chickens in. Oh, God. What kind of chickens are in there, dude? Wow, dude. That's a serious, serious shaft. Oh, wow. What do we have here? Well, certainly it's a good one. They've got it all blocked off. You can feel air coming through here. So it must lead somewhere. What do we have here? There, well, explosive storage. Yep, somebody's shoe. This is part of the Embersi mine that was active from 1949 to 1951. It's a nice one too. Some kind of operation there. Looks like that's covered. It's a shaft. Looks like a shaft covered with rock and steel. Looks like another nice shaft. Sadly, fat barred. Take a look. 
certainly put some effort. And barring these up. Wow. Yep. That looks like that'd be a good one to get in. Now you can see one up top. Unfortunately, they had blocked off all of the audits. We weren't able to do any mine exploring, so we made our way back to our cars. Wow. Interesting. The truck's still here. That's a good thing. This is crazy. This is Toyota's crawl control in action. On our way down, we had to recover two guys stuck in a ditch in their side by side. Watch out. Let go of that rope in case it snaps. There we go. Straighten it out. After getting them out of the ditch, we helped them back down this very rutted road. Good. Now front forward. Okay, you're good. You're good now. Let's back you up. Right. Yep, right where your wheels are right there. You're perfect. Looking good. It's always fun testing your recovery abilities to get somebody else unstuck. Shout out to Rick and John and I hope the rest of your adventure went well. Next we drove through the Ivanpah solar power generating station on our way back into the Clark Mountains. That is very interesting. Can't stare into that for too long. Sadly it appears that two out of three of Ivanpah's power units are no longer functioning as the mirrors are misaligned and broken. That's where we're headed. The Colosseum Mine, which is an extremely impressive open pit mine. On our way up to the Colosseum Mine, we did a quick pit stop for lunch. We were treated to some incredible views of the Ivanpah power plant. We also were able to check out a few abandoned homestead sites with the drone. Not sure if these were mining operations at one time or ranching. After finishing lunch, we were back on the road and I was excited to check out the Coliseum Mine. We made it to the Colosseum, not the one in Rome, but the one in the Mojave Desert. You can see an open pit mine, water down there in the bottom. Fortunately, due to these rocks here, we can't drive all the way down. I figure since I'm here, might as well walk down to the water. See what, uh, what it looks like. What do you think? Should we go for a swim? There it is. Beautiful. 
The Colosseum Mine is a gold and silver mine that got its start in the late 1800s, but it didn't hit its peak until the 1980s when they turned it into an open pit mine. It was decommissioned in 1993. One of the unique features of the Colosseum Mine is the giant freshwater lake that fills the bottom quarter of the pit that's here year-round despite the scorching desert heat. After spending a significant amount of time exploring the Colosseum Mine, we had to hit the road so we had a long journey ahead. So we made our way through the Clark Range into the Kingston Range Wilderness where we're going to check out the Shadow Mountain Mine. So this appeared to be some type of old mill site, but I couldn't find any reference to it on any maps. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. This is at Yates Wells Road and Curtis Canyon in the Clark Mountains. So this looked like an old bunkhouse, I believe for miners. It's right at Quizar Canyon, which is the entrance to the Taylor Mine. If you know what it is, let me know. Heading up into those mountains there. Apparently a mine complex. See what there is. Not a lot of traffic in this sandy wash. Right through these Joshua trees. Pretty awesome. Going about 45 right now. Let's see if we can pick it up a little bit. Woo! 50. Unfortunately, I think our road turned into a side-by-side -side trail. It was tight. Almost had to do a little recovery on the gladiator, but he was able to pull himself out. Just as the sun was setting, we finally made it to the Shadow Mountain Mine Complex. Before we set up camp, we wanted to do a little exploring. Yeah. Wow! The Shadow Mountain Mine Complex was originally founded in 1895. How far down does it go? Is it unlocked? Oh, it's locked. Let's take a look. This is a really cool find. There's a pin to the right. Whoa. Wow. Stay tuned, because we do go down this shaft. We just wait till it gets dark. This is pretty substantial. House here. Some serious mill workings. Oh yeah, here's the cyanide tanks. They produced gold, silver, and copper out of these mines and they continued to work them into the late 1930s. Quite a bit going on here. Something big back there with the big cement blocks. Ultimately, this is where we decided to set up camp after we finished exploring. Bunch of slabs. Looks like there's more up that hill. I mean, they had quite a few houses here. Yeah. 
we made our way around to the west side of the mountain and found an incredible miner's cabin made of rock and cement. I love this. I love that it was a split level. Yeah. You know, and it sucks too because you can see some of the wood been burned, right? Like, well, yeah, there's the back wall. We just need to pop that back up. Yeah. I mean, I think here's one side wall here. There's one out there. Can you put that here, that there? Good to go. We got our cars uh, parked out in the front yard for our beautiful new house. Well, this is camp, getting set up right now. Here, the generator running in the background, Starlink finding its uh, satellites. Okay, we're gonna have some ambiance as soon as I get this uh, nightmare done. Flashbacks to Christmas. Oh, clean. Very nice. Okay, Wes shamed me into putting it a little higher. How's that? Not too bad. There he is, setting up his tent on the flattest spot it's ever been on. Look at that, ingenious, dude. And you got a little cement porch. No, I like it. Fantastic. Actually, if there's ever a trip for it to rain, this would be a good one. No, that's not. Okay, because this is what we do. We explore mines. We're going to go explore this one at night in the dark. Well, hello. How's it looking? Well, here's a platform here. All right. Well, I'm coming down. How are the steps? All right. Careful. Look over there. All right, for the record, what? this is really stupid. <laughs> do not do this. Climbing down mines at night. All right, let me uh, switch with you and let you look. And I, I don't need to look. All right. So there might be a drift at the end of that ladder. And then it obviously keeps going down as an incline shaft. So first of all, what is that? A cassette player? A radio? CD player, dude. Yeah, it's hard drive. Actually, that's hard, hard drive from that computer up yep. there. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Right, that's exactly what you find. And it probably has all the information on where the gold is. Right? Somebody Shoot. went to great efforts to hide and, and destroy those hard drives. I bet they're Hillary's. <laughs> Hunter Biden? Uh, yeah. oh, I think that's it. Did you leave a light on up there? I right. did. Oh, that's nice. All right. That's so they can find our dead bodies. How will a dead light help them find our dead bodies? Well, if they come looking tonight. Oh. The aliens. In the next hour. All right. Here we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Again, I repeat, this is stupid. Do not do this. Pretty nice ladder, though. It is the nicest ladder I've ever been in a mine. Yeah. Where are you? Woo! Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, how about some dinner? Yeah, let's make it happen. All right, Wes is... Getting dinner ready. So I'm gonna do some cocktails. All right, we got a little Venus Spirits small batch gin from uh, Santa Barbara. Let's give this a shot. Wow, very nice. Finish it off with a little Fever Tree tonic. Lemon slice. 
Too perfect. Gin and tonics. All right, Wes. Thanks, hey, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that smells good. Very nice. That's some good gin. Are you filming this? Almost as dangerous as going into a mine at night. Open up a can with a knife. Why did you bring a can opener? The miners used to do it. Yeah, they did. All right, Wes, you got a lot of stuff going on here. I do. It's going to take some time. What What, what are you making for us? Well, I made this pot roast. Nice. That looks good. Sealed it in here. And so then we're going to warm it up, like kind of sous vide style. And then I'm going to saute onions, potatoes, uh, Brussels sprouts, and carrots. And we're going to put it all together and have a fantastic meal. Awesome. Yeah. Looks really good. How's it coming, Wes? Well, I don't know. I'm hoping it's coming good. It's to looking good. All veggies up. Got to eat healthy, so mom will be proud. That is a lot of veggies. It is. Nice. See what happens. Keep you posted. Looking good. There's our stack of wood. Not a whole lot, but hopefully that'll get us through the night. If you can see up there, we've got Venus and Jupiter. And right over here, you can see the lights of Vegas up over that hill. Definite maybe? We're ready? Yeah. Oh, we're... wow. Look at that. All afternoon, I worked on cooking this. I hope it tastes good. So what do you call this, Wes? Uh, homemade pot roast. It, lo it looks fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Wow. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, huh? So where the heck are we? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere between Death Valley and the Mojave Preserve, and we're well, we're west of Sema Road. Okay. And we're north of the 15th. All right. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> At some cool mine encampment. Yeah, it was very neat. They had a whole lot of structures here, but it doesn't look like they did a whole lot of mining. That's good. Let me keep that meat keep it. It's worth the time. Mm. Just like a cheesecake factory. After a great dinner and some time by the fire, we decided to call it a night. Jetting? It's jetting. Nice. Good morning. Well, trying out my new fire maple stove here. This is a jet boil knockoff. I like it because it's it's bigger. Um, it's super loud, as you could hear. Um, it's certainly uh, not going to replace my jet boil, at least for backpacking, but for uh, making quick coffee in the morning. I think this is going to be perfect. I do like this this uh, handle it has. Woo. Try a little more of the Primal Outdoors coffee. Looks pretty good. Um, so how is Primal Outdoors coffee? It's pretty good. Better than the old uh, Trail Recon? Uh, I, I did like it better than the, that maple... Bourbon blend, the maple bourbon blend. It said subtle maple bourbon. Well, it wasn't subtle. Yeah. We took a few minutes to enjoy our coffee, then we packed up and headed out. Time won't stop, so gonna get on the ride. Twisting and turning through life. No matter how rough it gets, I'll get by. with me where I roam it's 
in every dream I make my own I'm never alone I know that every day will always bring me something new This was another epic trip yeah, absolutely. It's a really beautiful area. We never expected it. We saw some pretty interesting things along the way. Yeah, no, and and a new a new place uh, that we got to come at back and do more exploring at. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to it. Well, thank you guys for watching. As always. Help, help me uh, bring up those like numbers and subscription numbers. So uh, do what you do. Share this with your friends. And we'll catch you the next time we venture outside.